Hi, it's Michael from Corona POS back in our series for budding entrepreneurs. This time I am going to go over some tips on opening a convenience store. So if you're considering becoming a convenience store owner, you've come to the right spot. According to a 2020 study by Statista, there were more than 150,000 convenience stores in the United States. The majority of them were independent stores and the overall convenience store sector in the United States had sales of $532.9 billion that year. In addition, at least 75% of these stores recorded an increase in sales for the 18th consecutive year in 2020. This sales growth is an essential indicator of the profitability of convenience stores. And if you're thinking about opening one, chances are you will succeed if you follow the best practices, get the right technology, and follow the proper legal procedures. But the million dollar question is, how do you actually do it? In this guide, we'll walk you through the steps to follow and how to run a successful convenience shop. So let's get started. Before you consider opening a convenience store, you need to conduct some research to ensure you've made the right choice. It's essential to use every trick to run your operation profitably. The obvious starting point is your business plan. As an entrepreneur, it's essential to develop a clear business plan which can help you pinpoint the specifics of your business's operation, uncover the blind spots, and better guide your budget. Since running a convenience store involves paying close attention to margins, creating a business plan before you start is a good idea. The business plan is a must if you need bank financing to open or purchase the store, which most of you will. This prerequisite for opening a convenience store will help you be more successful and is worth investing time into from the beginning. Before making this plan, you must study and understand specific business parameters such as the products you'll sell, prices, foot traffic, and revenue projections. Another couple of critical parameters to take into account are your competitors and your ideal customer profile. In your business plan, a part will be dedicated to establishing your startup costs and your operating costs. You need to put all this together in the form of a financial forecast in order to convince the bank or other less traditional financial lenders to grant you the funds necessary to open your store. Step two is picking the right location. No matter how good your product or marketing strategy is, a bad location will not bring you enough customers, thus threatening the future of your business. This is true whether you are opening a brand new store or buying an existing convenience store. The first thing you need to do to make sure you have chosen the right location is to measure the foot traffic. Count the customers outside for several hours or hire someone to do it for you. Although the strategy is tedious, it is effective. You can get in touch with the existing store owner to get a clear idea of the number of customers per day or week. You can also use the service of a company that can help you track foot traffic in a location using cell phone data. Alongside that, there are some other good general rules of thumb to ensure more success. Don't be surrounded by more than two or three stores, such as drugstore chains or large grocery stores. Don't choose a location hidden at the end of an alley in an office building complex. Good location can get regular customers such as a neighborhood corner, a large office complex, or a school zone. Your site should also offer ample and suitable parking and be easily accessible. In step three, it's time to figure out all the licenses you'll need. Before opening a convenience store, you must fulfill several administrative formalities to comply with the laws of your state or county. This includes obtaining licenses and permits to ensure the legality of your operation and avoid stressful and costly issues down the road. The typical licenses and permits you will need for your convenience store are employer identification numbers, occupation permits, alcohol and tobacco licenses, city or county business licenses, a health permit, lottery license, and gas permits. However, obtaining these items can be time consuming and tedious for example, you must demonstrate that your building and facilities comply with your state's regulations to even get an occupancy permit. This whole process can take quite some time, especially in certain densely populated areas. So be sure to plan well in advance to avoid delays to your store's opening. Okay, now for step four, it's time to focus on financial management. Be in the driver's seat with your finances rather than waiting for problems to arise. Check each product sales ratio and gross profit margin to see cost efficient products and optimize your purchasing and pricing better. One important area to consider is retail shrinkage. When you see mismatches between sales and inventory, you need to be on your toes as this may indicate theft. Also keep a close eye on your cash flow. A great way to control your finances is to constantly look for ways to reduce production costs by negotiating the purchase price of your items from your suppliers and eliminating order inefficiencies that cause poor inventory management. Remember to continuously optimize sales volumes and prices as the profitability of convenience store businesses are based on high volumes and low margins. Shifting gears, step five should focus on technology investments. For better financial inventory management of your convenience store, it's essential to have an up-to-date cloud-based retail point of sale system. A cloud-based POS system helps you access all data and reports remotely as long as you have an internet connected device, adding much needed convenience and flexibility. As a convenience store owner, you don't constantly need to be on your premises. 
You can therefore track everything related to operations and other business activities remotely. An elite point of sale system helps you manage inventory, track sales, vendors, store profits, and revamp your marketing strategies with retail store analytics. Also, a POS system protects you from fraudulent transactions with PCI compliant devices and cashier reports. In addition, you should invest in other tools for security, such as surveillance cameras, alarms, and cashier monitors. All these devices will help prevent loss and maintain a healthy business. Step six, start getting to know your customers. It's a big mistake to think that everyone is your customer, given the amount of competition at convenience stores. Are your customers regulars in your convenience store or are they one-time buyers of the products you sell? For example, a woman who stops by every morning to buy coffee and snacks for her daughter before taking her to school can be considered a more valuable customer as opposed to one who's just stopping by for an item they need. Are the customers who come to your store from the area where your store is located? If so, you want to invest more in the interior of your store. You may also want to offer a standing lunch counter, hire great employees, train them to be very welcoming, and make the overall customer experience more pleasant. Do your customers spend a lot of time in your store or are they always in a hurry to get out? If so, make the most popular last minute products such as bread and milk visible and accessible. You must have a staff willing to serve your customers, efficient line management, and a fast checkout system. Finally, decide on your product catalog. While convenience stores typically vary in what they carry, shoppers usually expect to find fresh fruit and vegetables, alcohol and soft drinks, dairy products such as butter, yogurt, cheese, and other desserts, cakes, sandwiches, freshly baked goods, and fast food to go, takeaway coffee and other hot drinks, newspapers and magazines, cigarettes and other forms of tobacco, and many household and grocery items such as toilet paper, tea, coffee, and pet food. Determining your C store's product inventory is no easy task. After all, convenience stores are typically small spaces, but their customers expect a wide variety of products. It's important to maximize your products catalog without overwhelming your stockroom or shelves. Listen to your shoppers and don't be afraid to improvise as you go. So after all that, you might be still wondering, is owning a convenience store profitable? After all, no entrepreneur wants to start a business that's not profitable, and there are plenty of profitable business types out there. But can you make several million dollars annually running just a convenience store? Well, the short answer is yes, but it depends on how well you run your business. As a convenience store owner, you constantly face high costs of your products and other overhead expenses, such as your inventory, rent, and payroll. You also have to deal with operating expenses, such as utilities, equipment, and transportation, while at the same time optimizing your product catalog and pricing and attracting new customers. To improve your profit margins, it's advisable to calculate and know your best selling products margins to better strengthen your inventory and marketing strategy around these products. Make sure that these products are available and well presented in your store. Tobacco, beer, wine, gas, and automotive supplies, for instance, are considered several of the products that should be prioritized to maximize profit margins. You should also think about these products around your point of sale. Don't waste an opportunity to promote impulse purchases and pad your average sale value. So the way that convenience stores are profitable is by reducing unnecessary costs and expenses and maximizing your efforts on the items your customers most desire. Opening a convenience store is a process that requires money, time, and planning. With a good business plan, a great choice of location, good products on your shelves, and affordable prices, you can make your convenience store profitable. Running a successful convenience store also means using a point of sale system that can facilitate your transactions, manage your inventory, provide payroll tracking for your employees, and a whole lot more. And that's where Corona POS comes in. Our convenience store POS system offers C-Store retailers a totally modern and adaptable solution that's built to help your business succeed and grow. To learn more, sign up for a free trial through the link in the description. And for more entrepreneurial and retail advice, subscribe to our blog and channel. Thanks for watching.